a hi in this video i'm going to show you how to send aws windows server ec2 instance logs to cloudwatch log groups as you see in this ppt this ppt depicts my demo here i'm going to walk you through like how you can set up the windows ec2 instance and the required resource around the windows ec2 instance in a such a way that the logs that are being generated on amazon ec2 instance especially windows server can be forwarded to cloudwatch log groups of respective region and finally we're going to have a visual of the logs getting appearing in the cloudwatch log groups okay so that's the main aim, aim of this video uh, so as usual in my videos i'm going to explain the demo into two parts in the first part i'm going to explain it around the theoretically and the next part i'm going to walk you through the real time configurations that you need to configure and make sure that so that the the log from amazon ec2 instance can be appear or can appear on the amazon log groups right all right so with that note let me start with the first one before i start with the first phase of my demo a kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot yeah so let's get started with the first part as you see in this ppt you know this ppt depicts very simple you know the concept here right so you have an amazon ec2 instance which is hosting your application or it could be hosting your services you need that ec2 instance to be monitored right especially with using you know the native capability of aws that is cloudwatch plus cloudwatch agent right so in that case this is the you know the configuration setup that you can set on your environment and to achieve the the real time lag gathering or real time you know monitoring scenarios on your amazon ec2 instance okay make a note that here i am focusing on windows server 2022 especially windows flavor right say you have created an amazon ec2 instance of windows server 2022 say and once the ec2 instance is, is up and running fine you need to make sure that you know the cloudwatch agent which comes by default in of the windows server image from amazon or from the aws right that agent has to have the capability so that it can send the logs to the cloudwatch log groups along with that you need to reconfigure the cloudwatch agent in a such a way that you direct the agent in a, in a way that you know hey you need to go and upload the you know the logs to the cloudwatch log groups this is the name and this is the reason something like that you know we need to configure the cloudwatch agent so once that is been done the automatically the cloudwatch logs groups will be generated and we see that you know the the seamless the logs from the amazon ec2 instance gets exported and gets stored in a cloudwatch log groups from there you can build your own insights automations monitoring ticketing whatever you want to do you can do it on the on the right side of this solution that is cloudwatch log groups view right all right so they basically this is what the flow is now we have an amazon ec2 instance and that one we will configure the cloudwatch agent then we're going to see the you know the logs getting flowed in the amazon cloudwatch log groups very seamlessly and we also can see the you know the some of the very important metrics of amazon uh, ec2 instance that is windows server getting appearing in the in the in the cloudwatch log groups right all right so with that note let me take you to the uh, my aws account so this is my aws account this is the place where i'm going to show you the demo of how to configure the windows ec2 instance such a way that you know it can forward the logs from its machine to the cloudwatch log group which is the independent service in the amazon and from where you can do a required observability required monitoring that you want to do right and it's before that before you host an ec2 instance you must have the underlying infrastructure that is vpc has to be in a proper manner if your vpc configurations are missing you will face the difficulty in making the agent functionality working right and that's the reason i am first making you land here on the vpc so that you are well known about what are all the vpc configuration has to be there in place right all right so first one you must have an vpc been created with the cidr range and that should have some space indeed okay and underneath that vpc we you have to create a subnet let's say this is the subnet i created just for uh, demo purpose and it has a, a range of something like port slash 24 right it contains the availability uh, ip ranges nearby 246 something yeah no sorry to, uh, maybe more than 240 yeah so that's my subnet and later you need to have a route table so in the route table make sure that you know you have a right routes been configured in the sense you say you know the the communication from the internet has to go to a igw so here in my case since this is my an aws vanilla account so i am still depending on igw for the internet communication right or or internet gateway so you must say that you know whenever the traffic gets generated from the internet 
it has to hit this IGW, that is the internet gateway, through which it can enter to this VPC. That's what it means. Along with that, you know, this is a default route has to be configured. Yeah. All right. So these are the routes has to be made sure in your route table. Along with that, you, as I said, you know, you, since this is a, a vanilla account, you must have an IGW attached to a VPC. So make sure that, you know, your VPC has an IGW attached to a, a subnet where you are hosting the um, uh, ESO instance for, for this sake. Yeah. All right, so that are all the three, four important configurations that is VPC, subnet, route table, and IZW. Along with that, I would suggest to make sure that, you know, um, so endpoints, okay, so I will go back to the endpoints. So why here I am also throwing a light on making sure that you have some endpoints been enabled on your VPC. Why? Because since we are installing the agent, that is SSM agent, which is helping an ACT instance to scrape the logs and put it into the log groups, that is, CloudWatch log groups, the communication from EC2 instance agent, that is SSM agent, to CloudWatch log groups has to happen from the AWS given backbone, right? So, which is a secure, you know, connectivity, which is a secure pattern of passing the data, right? So, in that case, you know, as, you know enabling the endpoints is very important because by default, SSM agent will use a backbone endpoints and try to communicate to SSM agent. If it is not there, it will go through the internet route, yeah? All right, so what it happens is that's that's for that sake, you know, you have to create a two endpoints, which I would suggest that is endpoint of type interface. Yeah. So one is you create an endpoint of service that is ending with SSM and it should be belongs to a region where you are hosting a EC2 instance. I'm hosting EC2 instance in a US East region. So I created this endpoint. Similarly, one more that is SSM messages. Okay, so how to create that? So just click on this um, uh, create endpoints. Yeah, just uh, give a name like test and then go down and find out a service that is SSM and you see that you know it is filtering the three values. So we should create an endpoints for SSM and then you're going to choose the VPC that is uh, the VPC where you want to create. Since it's already there, okay, so just select, it, select that particular endpoints and, and choose the VPC and then down the line, you know, choose your uh, subnet ID as well. Similarly, um, here choose over uh, uh, the security groups okay so with that click on a create endpoint which will eventually create a, an endpoint for ssm right similarly for for the another ssm endpoint that is uh, ssm messages so you search it like that and just reiterate the steps which i explained earlier by selecting the ssm messages endpoint name yeah all right so with that configuration you just click on a create endpoint which will take you to the page like i am ready right so you see i am already ready with the my required endpoints that is uh, endpoints of uh, uh, SSM and SSM messages. All right. Okay. So with that, uh, so I'm going to tell you the importance of, uh, you know, the importance of this SSM endpoint later. Yeah. So give me uh, some time. Okay. So um, along with that, so I will, I will take you to the next step. So that is the security group configuration. So the here I'm using the AWS given default security groups, which contains very required inbound rules and outbound rules. So here you go, I have allowed all traffic. Uh, since it is a demo, I'm just allowing all traffic. But in your case, you know, you can make it very secured, filtered inbound rules. Similarly, make sure that, you know, you have an outbound configuration with all traffic allowed to the internet, right? So these are all the, you know, the configurations that you need to make sure from the VPC side. Now let's go to the another side that is IAM service, okay? So in IAM service, you need to have an IAM role which has an access, um, um, which has the required access on the on the issue instance, which is nothing but, you know, you have to need a, you need a EC2 instance profile role. Okay. So for that case, what I did is I have already created a role called my instance role. And to that role, I have attached maximum permissions that AWS can give us. One is administrator access, which is complete access. But in your case, you know, since you are dealing with the CloudWatch log groups, have a CloudWatch log group been um, access been given, uh, say the, you know, you need to, you need to have a, uh, access to the, um, uh, uh to the ec2 instance uh, and give to the vpc so just give the minimum permission right so i think here the permissions required is only the cloud watch full access yeah all right so just give those permissions um i think that's the minimum permissions but as i saying again i'm just making it very bright uh very bold note saying like you know this is a demo that's the reason i have given administration uh administration privilege and in the trust, you know, make sure that, you know, you add the two trust here that is belongs to the EC2 instance because why it is EC2 instance because this is an instance profile role. Okay. So that's the reason we must add uh, EC2 instance uh, role plus SSM agent. So why it is SSM agent? Because we might need to communicate with the SSM because we are dealing with a SSM service. So I just added, it, it could be trusted by this, uh, these two services as well, right? 
so this is my trust relationship that i have added on my you know uh, my uh, instance profile rule all right so with that you know we are done with the iam role prerequisite here as well now let me take you to the um, uh, to the ec2 instance so basically i have for this demo i have created an independent ec2 instance and which is already running fine but before uh, i walk you through this uh, uh, configuration of ec2 instance i'm going to show you again like how you can create a uh, a student instance like me so just click on that launch instance here you can give the name of your instance say say you know test ec2 yeah i'm just giving a name of my ec2 equal to test ec2 so once you have given the name of your uh ec2 instance is test instance uh, test ec2 then down the line you know uh, choose the images so this is the windows image here you can choose the you know image version that you want so, okay so if you choose it here you're going to find like um, uh, you know the windows uh, so for, sorry so currently it is pointing to amazon linux so let's choose the windows on if you choose on the windows you see the latest images of windows is like windows server 22 base right so i've just created i just selected the windows 22 base because which is the latest uh, windows version and then automatically it has chosen the i design and i designed all then choose the uh, uh, tiers that is image tiers that is instance tiers so i chosen the t2 micro because this, uh, this is just a demo but from your side it could be your application need basis instance types and then you're going to create uh, uh, the key pair so just create a key pair like just by giving the name let's say like test and click on key pair so it will automatically create a key pair for you and then the key pair is been done then down the line you know make sure that you select the proper network configuration that is the vpc that you made ready for this uh, issue instance choose the right subnet all right so and this is the uh, right subnet yeah and auto assign the public ip address yeah you can you can assign the public ip address because you need to if you need to take the rdp you need to have the public ip address else else you know yeah so public ip address is needed because it, since this is a windows system we need to make the certain configuration in the file directory of the ssm agent in the windows ec2 instance so that's for that sake only we need a public ip address because i need to take a rdp and i need to make the configurations okay so for that case you can choose the auto assign public ip address as well but in my case i just disabled it and later i attached an eip that is elastic ip address right all right so rest all configuration you can keep it default and launch an ac2 instance so once you are launched the ac2 instance you know make sure that your ac2 instance comes in this state that is a, a running state and then later uh, go to the actions and go to the security and in the modify role so make sure that you know the the instance profile role that you created here is being attached to that why because you know the ssm agent needs some permissions to communicate with the aw services and that's for that his sake you know we have to choose a im role which is meant for instance profile yeah and i have selected that and update the im role so once you're done with it so basically almost all prerequisite of your system is done since the windows 22 is coming by default with the you know default installed with the ssm agent in the sense the images that you're choosing for windows 22 server is already been pre-configured with the required ssm agent software so you don't need to do or install the ssm agent later so by default whenever you spin up a system instance the uh, the agent will be up and running fine and once you meet the requirement that is if you attach a required iam uh, instance profile role the automatically the agent starts doing the activity after a certain time once you click on a connect button you should see some orange color that is a connect button which will tell that you know saying like you know session manager the session manager is been established with using the cloud watch with using the cloud ssm um, a cloud watch agent so basically the cloud watch agent in the sense whatever the agent that we install that is cloud watch agent on ac2 instance will have a, a capability to take the session of your ac2 instance that is a terminal session of an ac2 instance can be established with using ssm agent and that's what it is doing here okay so it will go in an orange state only if the ssm agent has a proper connectivity proper permissions yeah all right so once you click on this one so it will take you to the a terminal uh, in the in the internet so here you go this is a, a internet terminal that you can get it yeah and this is if you type it like a host name you can get the name of uh, the host name yeah so here you go this is my is it instance host name yeah all right so with that you know we have done with the, all the prerequisite now let's go to the next step that is now is the real butter and bread, you know, real bread and butter configuration. Yeah. So basically, this is a you know the very important uh, configurations. All right, to uh, to do the uh, you know the Windows level since this is a Windows server, uh, using the uh, terminal is is not user friendly because here you know you don't get the uh, capabilities like in Linux through which you can interact with the you know the file system easily, right? Like creating the file 
uploading the uh, uploading some data into the file is not easy in windows but if it is linux and you could have done with using the terminal right all right so since terminal is not user friendly what i did is i was being forced to attach an elastic ip address right so for that case what i did is i went to my vpc again and then go to the elastic ip address right and here i like allocate an ip address for my account one more time right so if i allocate it ip address automatically you will you know the aws will assign you uh elastic ip address which is a you know which is a, a dynamic public ip address you can say in the sense in the front phase you will have a constant ip address from the back end you know the aws will orchestrate the the possible available public ip address that can be assigned to you so that's where the you know eip will be uh, meant for and this elastic ip address can be attached to our ext instance so that you can take a public you know to can take the rdp and that's what i did see if you see my screen so this is the my elastic ip address so you see this is my elastic ip address and with using this elastic ip address i took an rdp you see i have already took an rdp of this ext instance now once we are done with it what we have to do is i have an important task you need to understand okay so now the time to time has been come to configure your aws ext instance to to forward the logs uh, okay from this ec2 machine to the cloudwatch log groups for that case we need to keep a json file with a name like create a json file with the name aws.ec2.windows.cloudwatch.json file anyways i'm going to share this json file here i have already created this json file with this name that is aws ec2 windows.cloudwatch.json file and this is the json file which actually um, you know you guide the agent to do what what you want to do in the sense this is the file through which you know you will actually uh, update the ssm agent configuration in a such a way that it forwards the logs so for that sake you just copy paste the whatever the content of this file into the into the path present in a windows system which i am going to tell you right away right so basically you know you make sure that you know the property of is enabled equal to true uh, engine configuration you make sure that you know this is what the engine configuration is all about and within the components you know this is component is a place where you actually uh, scrape the required logs and put it to the cloud watch log groups okay the polling interval is nothing but you know the frequency at which the log the agent has to send to the cloud watch log groups right and the, uh, the components is nothing but you know different components from the aws uh, ec2 instance could be scraped and, and put it across to the uh, cloud watch log groups okay and it has its own syntax you must need to follow this okay and it has its own ids as well full name as well and parameter as well okay so so for that sake you know this is the json file that aws has given us we need to follow this syntax okay so rest all configuration will remain same um, so you can just uh, try to understand it from your level as well but i'm going to walk you through the very important point that is uh, here that is in the line number 77 i'm giving a id card cloudwatch logs so what is this cloudwatch log instance this is the uh, you know the statement which actually um, this is the component uh, which actually creates a cloudwatch log groups in the cloudwatch of my ec2 instance region that is us east region and the full name is you know ec2 windows cloudwatch cloudwatch logs output uh, and then you see this is the um, you know then then we are also giving the parameter that is another parameter is aws ec2 instance cloudwatch yeah all right similarly there are other configurations so and underneath this we have another thing called parameters which actually asks you for access key and secret because since i am attached an instance profile role and that has a built-in you know that has since it is we made it as an instance profile role so that that gives a uh, agents uh, a built-in capability to take the access to the aws account okay so in that case you don't need to set the access key and secret because instance profile is enough for ssm agent to connect to back to the our aws account and this is the reason and the name of my log group which i have added is default log group and the log stream is you know we are just giving a dynamic parameter that is instance id the instance id would be become a log stream name similarly you know we are also uh, creating a cloud watch uh, in this one you see the uh, cloud watch component you see the cloud watch uh, cloud watch output components um, in the cloud watch only so cloud watch output components is nothing but you know here we are creating uh, uh, streams actually the metric filters with a name like uh, a namespace like windows defaults yeah all right so this is the syntax that aws has given and there is a very mature uh, uh, uh aws ec2 instance windows cloudwatch.json file is being given from aws you can use it and this file has to be used to the next configuration okay all right so anyways i'm going to share this file in the in the in the in the my github repo and github repo link will be shared in this uh, video's description you can find it from there and do a experiment from your side all right so 
once i am done with that configuration i kept this file here and this is how the content of that file is you see aws is it instance windows cloud watch and it's a json file the content of that file is the same as it is now you need to keep this file in the path that is c program file amazon ssm plugin cloud watch so if you follow this path that is uh, c under the c4 c drive go to the programs files amazon ssm plugins and aws cloud watch underneath this one you need to make this uh, file be present once that is done you have to go to the next step so in the next step is you open the windows powershell with using the administrative access and then run a command that is uh, restart service amazon ssm agent so this will take a couple of seconds and then finally you know it will get completed like this yeah and then you can check the status of your service by using command called get a service amazon agent and then agent has to be running okay so if i can run this command again that is get agent uh, service ssm get the amazon ssm agent service this is again running yeah so once you are done this one so basically you know the agent got restarted and it will start to do a is job in the sense we in the in the in the log scraping uh, json file what we did is we have told you know hey you need to run it every 15 seconds and you need to do this all these jobs okay all right so that's what it would start doing it okay and along with that i'm just wanted to show you the event manager okay let me close one uh, step in so this is i don't want i just clicked click close one all right uh, and let's let's stick to one so let me close the one all right okay so it has two snap ins okay if i can the uh, this one uh, so windows logs okay so if you saw the windows logs whatever the logs that you see in the application uh, security setup system all these logs will be scraped from here and it will be put it in a uh, in a cloudwatch log groups that is default log groups yeah all right so this is this is what this is what you know actually the agent would do in the sense uh, it will scrape it from here uh, from the event uh, uh, windows logs it could be from the um, uh, subscriptions it could be from all these uh, you know uh, event types right okay so once this is done uh, now you should go back to the uh, your console now it has time to see the logs okay so if i go to the cloudwatch log groups so this is my um, aws cloudwatch service page and i'm in a north virginia region so my ec2 instance is also in a north virginia region okay and then you go to the cloudwatch log groups and then yeah so once you go to the cloudwatch log groups um, here you see that you know the default log groups which we added in the in this json file that is default log group okay so that log group will be generated automatically fine right once that log group is gen generated and you see that you know the instance id so our our instance id is same like this yeah if i can find you here here you go our instance id has been created which is a stream underneath that log group so if you have a multiple instances then then the stream would increase like this so what does this means is the logs pertaining to this particular groups or particular residence will be captured in this stream and here you go the logs are being um, you know being um, uh, you see the logs are being calculated or, or accumulated here and you see the last time is that is uh, um, around like uh, 226 yeah so this is the status that is you know the window service entered in a some stopped set so basically the logs is getting generated here if you can refresh it you should see the latest logs as well so logs are getting pulled uh, uh, you know every time so yeah so um, and if you go above so the latest logs uh, script is is at uh, something like around like uh, uh, 226 yeah all right so it's it's it has started to capture the logs and that's how uh, i wanted to show you along along with that um, i wanted to show you the metrics filter as well so okay so if you go to the all metrics uh, go to the all you see there is a one snap in has been created that is windows default if you go to the windows there is you know we have created windows default right so that snap in is already there underneath that you know it will have the memory data so if you go to the metric without dimensions click on this one you see the logs of the memory that is available mb is getting collected here right you see so data of our uh, 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 ec2 instance is getting collected here similarly i am gonna go to the um, uh, again to the browser uh, sorry to the all metrics and we're gonna see the you know the aws default uh, uh, matrixes for an ec2 instance right uh, that is that it also gets started to collect so i'm gonna go to the all go to the all and then you see the aws default namespaces underneath that click on ec2 instances per instance matrices click on the per instance matrices since we have enabled the agent to capture the per instance matrices 
it has started to capture right and uh, you see that is a reason is north virginia the instance uh, names okay uh, that is uh, cloudwatch instances and the instance id that is a uh, name right so if you see here so all these are nothing but you know the metrics in the sense the the data which actually contains some numbers right uh, for example uh, the network packet uh, uh, solution uh, network output network input right so everything has been captured you see there is a nice graph has been dropped drawn okay so this is the default uh, you know the uh, metrics of an uh, ec2 instance is getting captured here and this is very much needed uh, in you know in, in managing your ec2 instance life cycle similarly uh, uh, you know cpu right so in cpu credit usage uh, credit balance yeah and then the you can see the you know cpu utilization right so cpu utilization in terms of percentage um here you go so the cpu utilization in terms of percentage that is currently it is using uh, 23 percent uh, usage okay so you can see the nice graph uh, getting represented here okay so if i can select all so everything will be drawn with own its color yeah so and this is this is what basically this uh, you know this graph is helps you to remotely monitor your ec2 instance and and manage the life cycle uh, you know it helps you to manage the life cycle of your ec2 instance easily right all right so with that note you know i have uh, successfully shown you the things need to be shown i think that you have got the required input uh, from my side uh, to capture the logs of a ec2 instance and and whatever so basically once you have these logs bit getting collected here right so if you see here uh, there's a latest log that is happening in the uh, just a minute back okay so it says the network setup service has entered in a running state something is happening in the system and that is being captured yeah all right so uh, with that note i have uh, successfully shown you the things need to be shown in this video finally i can't request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video